Well, President Trump has become the first president to ever be impeached twice. The impeachment proceedings now move to the Senate for a trial, but that won't happen until after President Trump leaves office. Natalie Brand is on Capitol Hill with those details and what is being done to keep the Capitol safe ahead of next week's presidential inauguration. On this vote, the ayes are 232. The nays are 197. It was the most bipartisan presidential impeachment vote in modern history, with 10 House Republicans joining their Democratic colleagues. Donald Trump is a clear and present danger to our country. A Senate trial is not expected until after next week's inauguration, and 17 Republicans would need to join with every Democrat in order to convict the president of inciting an insurrection. In a letter to his GOP colleagues Wednesday, Majority Leader Mitch McConnell said, I have not made a final decision on how I will vote, and I intend to listen to the legal arguments when they are presented to the Senate. But others in his party remain firmly against convicting the president. Let's stand up for the idea that post-presidential impeachments are bad for the presidency, bad for the country, and if we go along with it as Republicans, we will destroy the Republican Party. Within the past 24 hours, new fencing has gone up to reinforce the security perimeter around the Capitol. Up to 20,000 National Guard troops are expected in Washington, D.C. ahead of the inauguration, some of them armed. In a video released last night, President Trump made no mention of his second impeachment, but instead warned against more riots. No true supporter of mine could ever endorse political violence. No true supporter of mine could ever disrespect law enforcement or our great American flag. CBS News has learned of a new law enforcement bulletin warning that the success of last week's breach is likely to fuel more violence among domestic extremist groups. Natalie Brand, Capitol Hill.